Dom Jolly's joystick. The Call of Duty. Now there is one game that has pretty much taken over my life. Call of Duty. The multiplayer online game is so addictive that I've even kicked my methamphetamine habit as it was just getting too time consuming. Now like any junkie, I can pretend to myself that it's not a problem. The thing is, the game actually tells me how long I've played on it. 28 days and four hours so far. That's a whole February of my life gone and I'll never get it back. Still, who cares? I just thank God this game didn't exist when I was a kid. I wouldn't have left my bedroom for my entire teenage years and I'd have found adulthood very tense. As it was, I played a bit of Atari and then headed out to get drunk and meet girls, which was also quite tense. I've had some pretty weird experiences online. I once found myself in a game with Goldie and Vernon Kay. Needless to say, I slaughtered their asses. Vernon in particular left the game with no arms or legs, which was not a good look. But it did stop him sex texting for a bit. <coughs> Call of Duty has also been useful in real life. I visited Chernobyl last year. I entered the zone of alienation, the empty area around the abandoned reactor. As we were wandering around the eerily quiet ghost town, I started to think that I knew my way about. Is that the old swimming pool? I asked Sergei, my guide. He seemed very surprised and asked me if I'd been here before. Then I realized the town I was in, Pripyat, was the map I'd been playing online in Call of Duty for over a year. I knew this town better than Sergei. Now in the real Pripyat, I kept spotting places that I'd used to snipe from. I love sniping, and there's nowhere better to do this, apart from maybe Afghanistan, than in Call of Duty. I know it's wrong, but there is little more satisfying in life than to be safely ensconced in your nest, spot an unfortunate opponent in the open, line up on his head, press the trigger, and watch his head explode like a watermelon. I then wait for the guy I killed to try and find me, only to be blown up by a well-placed claymore. At times like these, the real world seems very, very dull indeed. Eat this, Vernon.